welcome back to my channel chickadees i wanted to do a chill draw with me video so here it is the drawing process for me is very simple i don't have any idea what i'm gonna draw i just go ahead and draw so as you can see there's a butt in my drawing and it's a ghost with a big old booty if you knew me long enough you know that i like doing puns so if you can guess what the pun would be for this particular drawing, go ahead and comment below. And then I'm gonna pin the right one. In case you're wondering, the brush I'm using is called a monoline. I really don't mess with the brushes, I just use what is provided in the app because I'm a lazy artist. Alright, in the next section, you're gonna see me trying to write calligraphy. It's gonna take a couple of tries. As you can see, I always turn on the drawing guides when I'm writing anything because it'll help me keep it balanced and also aligned i wish procreate provided the type on the path tool like uh, illustrator because it would make life easier and i don't have to struggle writing things on my own with my own hands i suck at writing but it's good practice the good thing about using your own handwriting is that you don't have to worry about the commercial use of the type of font that you find online so that's that's a bonus and it's good practice you know now we're gonna go into the fun part which is coloring and drawing i normally do several different types of layers not many because it's a very simple drawing one for coloring in the solid portions there's an easier way to do this but for some apparent odd reason i wanted to do it like this if you click the layer some options pop up and if you click reference that will use your outline as a reference so that you can drag and drop colors into the drawing instead but you have to make sure that there's no gaps anywhere in your line work for that to work now let's add some more details to our drawing okay let's start making some shadows make a new layer and put the layer options as linear burn and put a clipping mask what linear burn is going to do is add the shadows for us so that we don't have to manually look into our color palette and find some shadowing ourselves i normally toggle between a couple of different shades of gray depending on the color that i'm using sometimes i would need to go darker or lighter on the grays to make the shadows now it's time to make our butt shiny and add some other shines around because apparently uh, ghosts are shiny and i was too lazy to make a new layer so i just used the same layer that we did the solid colors in and yeah as you can see it's coming together after adding all of the shadows and the highlights i like to go in and use the smudge tool to smooth out the hard edges and then i go back again with a darker gray to make the shadows a little bit darker so i can have a little bit of depth and look more interesting so that's what i'm doing right here the brush that I am using for the shadows is the medium hard airbrush brush in the airbrushing section. I love using this brush because I can toggle between doing hard edges or soft edges on my drawing, which is pretty cool and easy to do. And I'm going in and adding some highlights to make the booty more shinier because who doesn't like a shiny booty on a cute little drawing like this? So there you go final details oh boy who don't knew talking for five minutes would be so much talking anyway i'm going to just let you enjoy some music while i do the rest of the details all right so the next part is to add a background i normally color in the background and i draw a box and the back of the drawing to make the drawing pop and of course add some additional shadows on the bottom so that's what you can see me doing now ha ah, almost forgot to color in the cowlick you can't forget the cowlick So I'm going to go ahead and make that square we spoke about earlier and I either toggle between linear burn or color burn and I will draw the box and normally toggle between some several colors of gray to make the color pop. So you're going to see me switching over the colors depends on what I want it to look like. So there you go. That's it. 
all right so this is the end of the drawing session i really hope you enjoyed the video today and thank you for sticking around if you're still watching and if you learned anything new today or if you have any more questions you can go ahead and comment below like and share with friends and of course if you would like to see more videos from me you can go ahead and click that subscription button in the bottom and click the bell so that you don't miss a new video from me thank you so much once again and i hope you enjoyed have a nice one love you bye